hello guys this is continuations of selenium interview questions and answers and here we have a questions of what is relative x path right so the relative x path is the way of locating an element using xml expressions beginning from anywhere in the html documents right so when you say relative which means it will not start from the top of your uh, html tag it will look for the relative path and uh, when there is any change happens uh, in the in the hierarchy of your uh, nodes still your object locations will not fail because you are using you are trying to identify the element based on some relative object so this is the syntax you can see that input at id is equal to username right so what is the difference between single slash and double slash so the single slash it's a you can say that it's a absolute path beginning from the root roots uh, root node so when we write single slash it's a you can see that the single slash are absolute path whereas the double slash this double slash is the relative x path okay uh, now we will talk about selenium alert api so what are the selenium alert api we have so we what happens is the web driver to work on the alert we have to switch to the alert okay so when we say driver dot switch to alert we'll get alert as an as an return type okay on and on that alert we have a method called accept which will accept your alert dismiss you can dismiss cancel that when you say get text you will get the text from the alert and send keys you can send the data to the alert box and then you can do accept so these are the alert methods we need to know what are the cookies handling in selenium so we can handle the cookie of the ui application so what happens is every applications we have a cookie their own cookie to maintain the session or to get some necessary information from the cookie every web applications maintains their cookie now this uh, cookie in selenium can be handled through driver dot manage dot get cookies so this will give you all the cookies present in the applications uh, you can also do uh, get cookie named so you can specify the name so basically the cookie is nothing but key value pair okay it maintains the map so when you supply the key you will get the value add cookie you can add the cookie also in the current cookie delete cookies based on the name based on the key name you can delete the cookies delete cookie named so again based on the named you can uh, delete that and delete all cookies so you can delete the entire cookies from the application so these are the methods you need to know to handle the cookie in selenium now selenium web driver weights so there are two weights we have implicit weight and explicit weight so what happens is uh, when we talk about the explicit weight the explicit weight is used to tell the web driver to wait for a certain conditions in case of explicit weight what we do we define certain conditions and we say web driver if you wait for these conditions if you look at here the syntax we are creating the object of web driver wait the first argument is the driver comma 30 seconds so here our web driver will wait for 30 seconds based on the conditions and i'm saying that wait dot until expected expected conditions dot visibility of web element so uh, we are saying that to the web driver wait for 30 seconds for this given web element if the web element is not come it, it if this wave element will not come even after 30 seconds we'll say that element not visible exception so it will throw element not visible exceptions and it will be a timeout okay so this happens based on the conditions whereas the implicit weight will tell to web driver to wait for a certain amount of time before it throws a no such element exceptions so this implicit weight is for entire page it will make sure that the entire page dom will be loaded for certain time before before it throws the no such element exceptions the default setting is zero once we set the time uh, web driver will wait for that time before throwing the exception so when you say driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicit wait 30 comma timeout dot seconds so it will wait for 30 seconds before it throwing the timeout then this is page load timeout so again this page load timeout is mainly for to load the page so here uh, when you say 30 seconds it will wait for 30 seconds to say timeout 
to say page load timeout right so we can specify the time for those uh, seconds you wait for that if it is not loaded for those seconds you say timeout okay now what is the difference between get window handle and get window handles so get window handle command to get the window handle of current window so whatever current window you are on right it will get the id for that it will get one unique id whereas and we can call like this driver dot get window handle whereas when we say get window handles so this will give you the all window uh, unique id for all the open window okay so let's say if there are four tabs open for that particular window you will get four different ids for all the windows so get window handle will give you the set of a string what it will give you set of a string whereas here you will get only a string right that is the difference so here you'll get only one id here you'll get set of id set of unique ids right so with this i'll close the video in next video i will talk about some more concepts of interview questions and answers